way this is just a short clip that I did my first wash and so this is what it looked like so I'm basically pulling them apart using clips so that way I can make sure that um, I have my parts how I want my locks to set once they are uh, locking up you know doing the lock process so basically I'm using flaxy gel to um, to twist with and then some I didn't use any flaxseed I'm just kind of pulling them like this and just kind of doing a finger twist putting a clip like I say until they dry because I use a I use a stocking cap so and so this is so I used a stocking cap to shampoo my locks uh, I did condition use a conditioner so I use this stock, uh, tighter stocking cap to actually shampoo my locks and then I actually did my oil rinse with this still on my hair uh, set up under my dryer for like almost 30 minutes uh, took this off when I thought my hair was partially dry from doing that and I switched to a looser um, I think this is a, a weave capping and so I put this on rinse the did the oil rinse rinse that out uh, sprayed my hair with my aloe vera and then sprayed my hair with aloe vera and some uh, conditioner which is in this bottle very little but mostly water let that sit on my hair did whatever I had to do rinse with this stock uh, weave cap still on my hair pat dry uh, set up on the dryer for just a few minutes to take some of the uh, water out of my hair and now I am just like I said just uh, pulling them apart reestablishing my part because I do want uh, part and like I said and I was going to I'm not doing a like tight retwist I guess but because I want I do want parts and I want specific parts uh, for me I think it's necessary until you know my locks are established where I can just go free form from there or at least until they lock up to where I don't have to worry about them coming apart when I wash my hair uh, and it looks like a lot of them, majority of them did not, doing this method, uh, have not came apart, I don't think. I'm trying to see if I'm in the cameras. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, like I said, I'm just, it's hard to do this, but I'm, yeah, I'm just pulling them apart. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just because I got y'all all up in the camera. <laughs> I'm gonna just go go ahead okay, and like so pull them apart, do a doing a light twist with clips. And yeah, then like try to lay it down because usually when I put a satin scarf, it's gonna lay down anyway. So uh, and a few back here because I just want to kind of experiment to see if I just separate and just put a clip at the root just to keep them from merging together um, instead of twisting to see how that looks because you know maybe after 
my second wash, maybe that's what I'll start doing because, uh, you know, I said eventually, you know, once they um, start forming where I can wash it without a stocking cap, then it's basically a wash and go and style or whatever at, at you know, at that time. So, yeah, this is, so I got all the clips in. Um, like I said, in this, I think it's this bottom part where I just kind of just pull them apart and put a clip. Like I said, to keep them from merging, to keep my part parting uh, the way I want it. And so I'm going to sit under dry, even though know, majority of my hair is already dry. But before I take the clip out, I sit under dry for maybe 30 minutes, maybe. And, um,. And take it out and just show you what it looks like. Yep, I'm all done. My first wash and my semi retwist. Like I said, I didn't clip the ends like I see a lot of videos, so that way the hair lay down. I'm not worried about that because uh, as soon as I put on my little scarf, it'll lay down by itself. Um, back part, let me see. Right here, I didn't, let me see, I don't know because I didn't twist these, I just pulled them and clipped them, so I don't see where it made any difference, um, so I'm thinking like next time I wash my hair, um, just kind of separate them put a clip in, make sure they don't join together, like I said, so I can keep um, my parts established and basically call it a day. Um, so yeah. So, happy. Like I said, uh, none of them, especially the longer ones, they didn't come apart. Uh, did have to reestablish, make this one and this one around my I'm getting better around my hairline but it wasn't too bad it didn't really come all the way apart um i know that uh, a lot of people when they do the the um finger coils or finger twist retwist whatever they kind of get a comb and you know comb it there locks through but i didn't do it i just picked up I said and just wrap hair around kind of twist and clipped and call it a day I uh, only did the flexi gel on like two or three of these that I can feel Every, uh, everything else including this no gel no nothing just like I said I just kind of did a light twist clipped and Set on a dry, let's so make sure it dry and uh, call it a day. So, yeah, this is week one. Uh, my second week will be on the 16th. Uh, so, I will check back with you when I do another uh, wash. Uh, usually, I'll just go by how my scalp is doing, basically, because uh, I already know I can't go to to three or even four weeks without washing my hair that's just or washing my scalp that's just a no no uh, so yeah so week one starter locks that's how they look uh, put a picture at the end one side tie a scarf kind of lay it down but you know this is probably the way I'm going to wear it for a while <laughs> so thank you for coming by my channel thank you for those who have subscribed I said this is kind of an impromptu video I was gonna wait till the second week I said well I was gonna go ahead and wash my hair a recap of how I washed it is I use a tighter stocking cap like this to actually shampoo my hair uh, once I shampoo I did the oil rinse I kept the, the stocking cap on when I did the oil rinse and I would use my Dr. Barner to actually wash both the caps 
get all the oil and stuff on, let it air dry, but did the oil rinse, leaving the cap on, sat on the dryer for about close to 30 minutes, and then I took it this off and replaced it with this one, since it has, um, the holes are a little bit uh, spread apart, uh, did the oil rinse, rinse it under the shower, followed by um, the aloe vera and uh, the conditioning sp conditioner and a spray bottle with water. Let that sit for a couple of minutes, rinsed, and um, kept the kept this cap on. I didn't take it off at all until, and then I used my uh, t-shirt, wrapped my hair, soak up some of the water, and then I actually sat up under the dryer for like five minutes just to get some more of the moisture before I took the actual cap off. And then I proceeded to separate the locks and like I said twist, did light twists and clipped others, you know, because I just wanted to see if I can just clip and just go. Um, and um, so yeah, that's about it. I said I'm just going to tie it down because I go to work tonight so that way it don't look all over the place you know office job need to be presentable so yeah thank you for coming by god bless and take care